welcome to this video where we're going to show you how to import a CSV file into a brand new table in SQL Server. Uh, we're going to be doing this through Azure Data Studio and before we get started if this is the first time you've tuned into our channel we invite you to check out the rest of our page and subscribe. Okay so in order to do the import it's fairly straightforward first you need to connect to your SQL Server instance I've got mine open here and then all you have to do is navigate to the database you want to import the file into and create that new table. So I'm going to right here, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to right click on this database here, the AdventureWorks database, and then I'm going to grab and click on this import wizard here. Okay, it's going to ask for the connection to be made again. And so go ahead and just do that. And so now I'm connected and it's going to ask for the database, which is by default what I just put in. I'm going to select the AdventureWorks database and then I need to pick the file that I want to import. In this case, I have an employee's CSV file that I'm going to be importing into SQL Server. So I'm gonna go ahead and browse for that. It's just in my downloads here. Can go ahead and open that up. And then it's gonna automatically make the table name what the file name is. So if I wanted to, I could change this and make it whatever I want. Employees is good for me, so I'm just gonna keep that. Uh, and then you can also specify or change the schemas here. So if you have different schemas that you want to write it into, you can go ahead and select whichever one you want to do there. Okay, go ahead and click the next button here. And you'll see a preview of your data and how it's going to kind of look. It's going to make sure that it's parsing it correctly. Uh, you can kind of verify that everything is looking correct there. Once you're ready, go ahead and click next. And now this is where you're going to create the table structure. So it allows you to do it on the fly here. You can change the data type, the column names, and then assign like primary keys and specify if any null values need to be made here as well. So just for this video, I'm going to actually create this as a primary key. And then I'm not gonna have any nulls allowed in this table. So all, these, all of these fields will need to be filled in. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and come back down here and click import data and you should get a little message here saying that it imported successfully otherwise if it had issues it will read out an error message that you can kind of troubleshoot and figure out what's going on with it okay let's go ahead and click done and I'm going to refresh our database here to make sure that the new table will show up and then navigating down here to dbo.employees here it is, I can select the top 100, excuse me, the top 1000, and that will pull up with all of our information about our employees. And so that is how you import a CSV file into SQL Server. Once again, if you like this video and found it helpful, we invite you to subscribe to the channel for more helpful tips, and we'll see you at the next one.